people of the internet. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to another weekend vlog. Woohoo! We survived another week. We did, just. Um, welcome back to everyone that watches. We notice newbies all the time, it's great. There's lots of you now. I know. <laughs> and if you're not new, if, you, if you've not subscribed yet, watch this vlog, see if you like it, subscribe. And then watch all those other ones if you want. Yeah. We've got a good weekend, well, good, yeah, good weekend, particularly today. This angle's really flat. Yeah. Um, because we are sort of doing our garden up a bit, a lot, a bit, a bit. A bit, a lot. Um, I suppose the amount depends on how much we get done. And patience and time. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, if you've watched the vlogs from the beginning, you'll know what our garden looks like. But if not, I'll insert some clips now of what our garden currently looks like. <laughs> um, and we did all this ourselves we've never got anyone professional in so everything we've done up to now is ourselves we even put grass seed down we grew that grass ourselves from seed no turf in this house no turfing um, and we put all like decking down and stuff so I think we've done an alright job to be fair for two novices but it's time for a change yeah obviously now since we've got into gardening oh the rabbit's just running around the floor <laughs> Um, since we've got into gardening, um, we can do better. There's room for improvement. We now know what we like, what we don't like, what's worked about the garden, what's not worked about the garden, and we're making some changes. Mm -hmm. So it's David Barrow saying. <laughs> so we've been up and about early this morning, actually early, actually early, to get some paving slabs from someone on Facebook. We've got those now. So the plan is to do... Um, we've got one of them plastic greenhouses, like Lean we've got ones. a very small one and then we've got a slightly bigger one and the place where the slightly bigger one is, we're going to put some foundations down because last year we just put it on the grass. And there are a few issues with that. One, it ruined the grass. <laughs> Two, um, slugs, slugs <laughs> ate everything in it because <laughs> they could obviously just come up from the grass. Um, it wasn't very stable, didn't look very good. It was sort of just plonked there. And the dogs just didn't help by peeing all yeah, over it. Yeah, the dogs peed up all of it. Anyway, so we've got uh, some slabs to put down. We're going to get some limestone to ma make it match in with the rest of the garden. And then we're going to... Emma says we think we need 10 bags. I think we need more than 10 bags. But... It's expensive. <laughs> um, yeah. Get some limestone, put that down. I mean, we'll show you as we go. We're going to improve the edges, widen the borders a bit so we can fit more in. And um, we've got some plants um, to put in. Yeah, we've decided this year we're just going to go ham on the plants. Yeah. We've Make got, it a little utopia. Yeah, we've got a few perennials in that we've like accumulated over the couple of years we've been here. And we've just we've bought some more um, climbing plants and stuff. We're just, I think, I think we're just both happy now because this weekend... It's going to be actually quite it's very sunny. warm. It's sunny. Look at the sunshine. It's going to be, I think, 13, 14 today and then 16 tomorrow, which is just after months of just rain. Dreariness. I feel like we just have wet seasons and hot seasons now. <laughs> but yeah. yeah. So that's the plan. And it's nice to see all the flowers and things. Yeah, in the garden. Well, I'll show you. Again. The daffodils have started coming up and its tulips are almost ready. Yeah, it's nice to see things coming up and life appearing. But yeah, so that's the plan. Obviously, we'll show you as we go along. It's going to encounter a trip to B&Q, of course. We're just going to sit down and do a click and collect order of all the bits we need. And, oh, exciting. I went to Costco yesterday. Big up Costco. And I got a wheelbarrow in a box. This was a bargain. It was £36, including that. Don't know what it was without that. For a heavy duty Costco wheelbarrow, which we've only seen wheelbarrows for like 70, 80 quid new. We were looking for a second hand one and we were gonna pay 20 quid for a second hand one. So 36 pounds for a brand new one, I didn't think was bad. So snaffled that up. Costco also had the greenhouse of my dreams in there, but I wasn't allowed to buy that because that was 1,400 pounds and we don't have that. <laughs> 
<laughs> if we did, I'd have bought it. But yes, that's the plan for today. Look at the sun. Oh, vitamin D, get it into my body. I've been so the only time you have vitamins into your body. <laughs> so yes, that's the plan. We're going to do our B&Q order. Sit down. Because we just got up and went this morning, basically. So we've not actually come Stopped. round. <laughs> and that's it. We Crack on with the day. And then guess what we're doing later? It's what we do always do on a weekend these days. Yes, okay. Woohoo! We won the cup, by the way. Big up. She won the cup on way. Okay. Well, Just give me more editing to do, that's fine. Well, <laughs> you like to sit down and do editing. Okay. We will update you in a bit. Sam has just pointed out that we've started putting this wheelbarrow together. You've started we've... putting it together. Yeah, and we've not filmed any of it. I've put a jumper on because I'm freezing. If you're worried about the change of outfit. You could put the heating on. Because he lives, babe, we can't put the heating on. What bolts do we need? What do you mean what bolts do you need? Oh, there's two different sizes. Right there, the yes, ones. but there's big ones and the small ones, Sam. Assembly, front support on the frame, fasten support, fitted frame, and insert block with the frame and front fitted and fastened together with a knot. Okay, well I assume that's that then. I don't know what those other big bolts are for. Securing the wheel axle in there. Securing that in place. Yeah, but then what are the little ones for? Because there's two there as well. Yeah, the little ones are on a little metal plate there, look underneath. Yes, but which bolt is for which? The long ones go through there because they fit. It's logical. Yes, it makes sense to you, Sam, because you've got this kind of brain. I have not got this kind of brain. It's a barrow in a box. Barrow in a cardboard box. You may be wondering why I'm building this in the living room, and Sam did point out the same thing, but I don't want to go outside because it's cold. <laughs> now, I would use the grease axles because that's all I did for. Sam used to build bikes. Still built bikes. For a living. We used to build bicycles. So for any of you bike mechanic related needs, you're in the if you give, if you Derbyshire have... area, <laughs> Derbyshire, South Yorkshire area, let us know. <laughs> yes, level 2 qualified and all that. <laughs> Just need to tighten all the bolts up now. And then we have a wheelbarrow because at the minute it's a bit janky wanky. A wheelbarrow, woohoo! Oh wait, need to put the handle on. I can do that. Look at this shiny, shiny new wheelbarrow. Are we professionals now? Uh, is this it? Is this the indicator? Although professionals probably wouldn't have built it in their living room. So, B&Q order's ready. So we're going to go to the range first, which is next door to B&Q, to get a few other bits we need. And then we're going to go to pick up our order at B&Q. We're taking two cars because a lot of heavy limestone and Sammy's worried about the suspension and his car. <laughs> so, we'll see you there. We're back. Didn't film anything in B&Q because we were just loading up 10 bags of limestone onto a trolley and then into our cars. So it wasn't that interesting. I thought I'd just point out, Ted's not here. <laughs> we totally forgot to tell you. Ted's not here. He's at my mum's his grandparents because we went out uh, last night and we were going to be out late so he's gone for a sleepover and we've just not picked him up yet. <laughs> we're going to do try and do a bit of the garden before we pick him up because otherwise he's just going to be running around and eh, being annoying so um, yes we're just going to have some lunch. Sam's had to go and get some bread hence why I'm back before him because he desperately wants a tuna sandwich for lunch. Can't say that I'm keen on a tuna sandwich. I think I'm going to have a kid's dinner of chicken nuggets because I can because you can do that when you're growing up if you fancy chicken nuggets for dinner you can have chicken nuggets for dinner so you me? not in that way guys he's been disloyal food really which is possibly the worst thing you could do <sighs> did he get bread no yeah yeah not for your lunch though did you because what's that that's a cheeky little waffle fry from the Morrison's counter. Unbelievable. 
Unbelievable behaviour, but he did get Devon not to say, you know. Every cloud. <laughs> Unbelievable! Right, it's time to get on with the garden. We've uh, procrastinated long enough. But do you know what I'm going to use? I'm going to use my wheelbarrow. <laughs> so, what we've got from B&Q is all this limestone. Sam says it's not going to be enough. I hate to agree with him, but I do think that might be true. Let me just get the washing out of the shop. <laughs> um, we've got some of this. This is what we used last year to clean the algae off the slabs and it worked really well, so we got another one. We got two trellises because I'll show you, we got some plants this week um, that are climbing plants, so we need those. And then Sam got a chilli growing kit. I did inform him that we already have the seeds for most of these chilies. Well, I'll update the chilies in the allotment vlog, but it's not gone well. Um, <laughs> so I've said Sam can have a go and he can probably do better than me. Yeah, the chilies. They, to be the best chilies. they probably will because that's, that's what Sam does. Kick off He's not an expert at anything, but when he tries something, it usually works out well, which is upsetting. And then we've got two rolls of this lawn edging stuff because I'll show you around what we're going to do. This is our garden at the moment. So we've got the door, that's the garage, this decking, um, this decking tiles that we've got from Aldi. But as you can see, they're a bit, a bit rubbish because I sanded and painted these down last year and it's just not just not the vibe so we're gonna have to sand and paint that down again we've got our vegetable beds that are growing charred onions <laughs> garlic not much in there at the moment but then our pots are lovely i like to have the pots here to encourage the bees around the veg which usually we have like bedding flowers in here but i've put some bulbs in here for now, so they're coming up which is nice. Strawberries in the middle. Are we leaving Thor open? So do yes. Thor can have a run around. So you're risking all this furniture as wires and everything like that? Yes. He won't. He won't. I can check on him every so often. I've left the rabbit to have free room in the living room. <laughs> that is my hanging herb planters, which are actually doing okay. I've chopped um, some back. These jives are coming back like no one's business. This is thyme, mint's doing well, sage is doing okay. These were like parsley and stuff that dies off every year. So, um, grow bags, shove some in there. Mini greenhouse, that could do with a clean on the inside actually. That's what most of my things are in at the minute. And then we've got the borders. Washing. <laughs> and this is the bit we're going to focus on today so the plan is to extend the limestone out so that we can fit a our plastic greenhouse on it and b if we wanted to in future a glass greenhouse so we're gonna come out there go across and then we've got a bit of extra space there so we're going to expand the uh, border there slightly. Plan is to have like a bird table or a pond or something, uh, make it very naturey. And um, we're going to get rid of this border roll because it's gross and algae and dead. Um, and expand the borders so we've got more room for more plants because we don't need so much grass. We don't have kids or anything running on the grass, or so we'll just have Ted. So the grass isn't in too bad a shape, I don't think. Um, for winter grass so we've got some fertiliser and stuff to put on that as well we're going to tidy up this edge as well, Sam's got a tool to tidy up this edge and yeah, that's the plan but this is the bit we're working on today <laughs> Thank you. 
Sam's trying his, it is raining, Sam's trying his best to dig out, <laughs> dig out this a bit. Because obviously, but it's the reason, just all clear yeah, and rock. The reason we need to obviously dig it a bit is because we want it to be flat with the grass. We obviously don't want it to be above <laughs> the grass. So we've got to dig it out and level it a bit. I have been going around the edges. You can see we're bringing the edge out slightly more, the border across here, across here, under the washing line, across here. And then, because obviously we've got the greenhouse section there, we wanted to do something more interesting with this like triangle that would have been like lost in the greenhouse nest. So we're making it like a cottagey, wildlife -y area. We're going to put a bird bath in. I want a pond, but someone let me have a pond. I told you, we said we weren't going to have one because of Ted. Yeah. You literally said, probably not best if we have one anyway because of Ted. Okay. There we are, literal words. Okay. Bird bath. <laughs> I'd quite like to have some like little stepping stones so that we can still get to like the back and weed and prune and whatever we need to do. So that is the plan. Um, so I'm have an aneurysm and fucking Sam's stress out. struggling with the fact our soil is not soil. <laughs> this is one of the things of living on a new build is that they basically just put turf over a building site. Literally. So there's rocks, clay. And the roots of the grass just can't even penetrate it. Yeah. It's not the best uh, situation in the world, I'll be honest. But we will get on. We'll do our best. It is dribbling. But I don't care. Sam says we've got to carry on. So. The Emma and Sam DIY project is not uh, is not progressing as uh, as. <laughs> Well, as we thought, oh, you're a bit I'm better. <sighs> Basically, you know, I said we were going to dig out um, to make it level. Well, we've realised that that's pretty much an impossible task with the stones and the clay soil. It's just going to be so much, so much work. And then we're going to make it all unlevel because we can't level the ground because it's clay. So we can't make it level. We're making it worse than it currently is so new game plan is we're digging a trench around i'm inside because it's drizzling um we're digging a trench around the outside because we would need to put the lawn edging in anyway and then we're going to fill the trench with limestone um to like hide that it's a different level and then we're hoping that we can just solve all our problems with limestone and hide all of the imperfections I don't know. It's good. We, me and Seth have had a bit of a Barney. It's uh, it's not the most fun experience we've ever had, but I'll show you when it stops. It stops dribbling, drizzling. This is the current situation. We don't want any comments about our method. We don't want to hear it. <laughs> so, this is the current situation. Um, positives. We like the way it looks. We think once we get more limestone and blend it in here we actually like the way it looks and it'll be good because we can have a greenhouse on it we can have the plastic one we've got for now and then if we want to upgrade to a glass one we've got the foundation we can just move the slabs about negatives <laughs> clearly not enough limestone not <laughs> sam i've already told you you were right don't take it too far um, yeah, clearly not enough limestone, so we need at least 20 more bags. <sighs> yes, ton bag would be better, but then, as Sam has pointed out, we can't guarantee if we get it delivered from somewhere else that it'll be the same colour, because it's not already not the same colour as the limestone we've had before. I assume that's because limestone's natural. So, we're okay. We're just gonna have a sit down, a cup of tea. Yeah. Sam's gonna have a donut, yeah. and we're gonna reassess the situation and come up with a plan. Sell the house. <laughs> Sell the house is not a plan, Sam. <laughs> we also need to get rid of this dirt again. Separate issue. Sell the house. <laughs> Sell the house. <laughs> I'm not against selling the house at this point in time. If I'm being really truthfully honest, gardening should be fun. 
I'm not having fun. Do you know what? I'm not having fun. I'm not having fun today. Can it's I just not... grow some cabbages instead? No, because you can't even do that a minute. Because <laughs> everything you grow and propagate and die. Everything's dying. Let's have a donut. Everything will look better after a donut. It's on cup of tea duty, but I think Sam wants to do something nice. <laughs> so he's, uh, we got some trellises earlier and he's going to attach them to the wall so that we can put our clematis up. Ignore the dead peppers. We'll just ignore them. Clematis. We've also got a magnolia, but we've not decided where we're going to put that yet. So, um, yeah, he's drilling the trellises up. I'm going to make a cup of tea. And we can all take a deep breath. Also, inflation. Since when, when were Morrison's donuts 89p? These are 50p. These have always been 50p. Why are they 89p? That's not in line with inflation, is it? That's not 4.5%. 89p. Unbelievable. We've got a game plan. Well, I've just thought of the game plan. <laughs> we're going to be patient. We're going to order a bulk bag of limestone from someone that we've got limestone from before. If it's a different colour, we're just going to put the colour that we've got on the deeper bits so you won't see it and put the new colour on top. Um, I've just been tidying up the rest of the garden and um, the bits and pieces we've got on, tying it in because some things were like seeping over onto the grass. Um, me and Sam have just had a chat and I think for the time being for the, for the border we're just going to have a nice clean cut grass edge um, and then Obviously we have all our plants and stuff. And then I thought it would be nice. This might be in the future when we can get more wood chip. Um, would be to just mulch the soil with wood chip so that you don't see bare soil where there's not a plant. Um, and it'll stop some of the mud, absorb some of the moisture. If Ted goes and stands on it because we won't have the edge, he won't get as muddy. That's the plan. <laughs> um, yes, and the soil that we've dug out that big pile just going to take it to the tip i've had a look and it does say it'll take um household like soil and rubble as long as it's not too much so just need to get some rubble bags put that in anyway we both need a shower now because <laughs> as always filthy look at me um but yeah that's the garden it's a shame because it's not like i want i have a brain where i want to get everything done immediately but Alas, Rome wasn't built in a day, so I've got to be patient with these things. So let's have a shower. Let's get dressed. Let's go to the ice hockey. We like the ice hockey. Ice hockey will cheer us up, hopefully. We're dressed, showered, <laughs> ready to go to the hockey. I've not put any makeup on, so I hope we don't win any of the prizes because it's the one time I've not put makeup on to go to the hockey and you have to take picture taken. New you... Jersey. Anybody Sam's New it? Jersey. My old Jersey. We're friends again now, aren't we? I don't think we fell out. I think I just had a... <laughs> Severe meltdown. We both everything. had a bit of a meltdown. But we like hockey. Adrenaline. It'll cheer us up. So we'll We're not going to details on how my meltdown was. We both we both had a bit of a had a bit of a meltdown. I just basically chunked swear words, stormed inside, went upstairs and stayed there for ten minutes. But that's how we deal with it. We go separately, we breathe, we calm down, and then we hug it out. So it's okay. Not to say that we're mad at each other, I think we're just... Just mad at the situation. Well, frustrated with the situation, I would say. Didn't go to plan, did it, basically? Uh, <laughs> I, I guess in the amount, and in the quantity of things, it probably didn't go to plan. But we now have a plan, so I feel better. Do what I thought we should do. If 
for you to say. Tom. So <laughs> one more time. Five. Just come to an awful realisation. We won at the ice hockey, by the way, but it was on penalties, so it was very stressful. So we're just chilling. <laughs> so I've got zoomies. I'll insert those clips now. And I've just realised <laughs> it was Ted's birthday today. He's three today, 16th of March, that's his birthday. He's three and we've not even seen him all day. <laughs> He's been at my mum's all day because we asked if he could stay because we the garden's still a mess. And also we were out at the ice hockey so we didn't want him to just be in on his own. So we've not seen him all day. Because <laughs> he was out, he was there last night as well. And Sam doesn't seem to realise the severity of the situation that we've forgot our only child's birthday. I'm sure some of you are like, Doc's birthday. Yeah, well, I've got no children, so this <laughs> is what I do. I celebrate the dog's birthday, except not today because we forgot. He won't know. I can't have just been saying that for the past 15 minutes and you go, you have a fucking meltdown about it. Yeah. Okay, we'll do it tomorrow. Will you, will you do celebrations with me tomorrow? Uh, well, I think that's more of a rhetorical question, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll do it tomorrow. I'll make him a cake. I'll do something. I've got to do something. You're going to do a bloody garden tomorrow. Oh my God, I've not got time. I've got to, to organise Ted a birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've not got time to do the garden. <laughs> Morning. Um, Sunday morning now, and in my effort to not be the worst pet parent in the whole world, I've come to where there's a pets at home, and I've even had to go out of my way because the one in our town is shut due to the flooding still. So I've had to come like 20 minutes away to the nearest pets at home to get Ted some presents for his birthday because. Can't. Sam's Sam's saying it's fine. It's not fine. It's not fine. So I'm gonna get him some presents. And while I'm here, there's also a B&M, which I've not. Been, I love B&M. B&M bargains. I absolutely love B&M bargains. But the one in our town is on the same park as the pets at home, and they're both flooded, so they've been shut since about October. So <laughs> I'm gonna pop into B&M as well while I'm here. But yeah, main course of action today is to get Ted some presents for his birthday. I'll have to vlog from down here because it's a very busy car park. So I've been to pets at home. I'll show you what I got Ted shortly when I'm home. Um, but there's also a home base. Home base is, is different to B&Q. So I'm going to have a little moochy mooch. Looks like they've got some actual plant plants, which I might have a look to do the new um, like wild bit of the garden. So I'll, ha I'll have a little, little look around home base. It's the same wheelbarrow we got from Costco. 55 pounds here, not 36. You see, bargain. <laughs> Sam's gonna kill me. Sam's gonna kill me for buying more plants. Home. Um, Ops. Sam's cleaned out the garage, which looks good. Tidied the garage, moved stuff around a bit. Oh, he's been productive. There's also a load of washing on the line. Well done, Sam. <laughs> well done, Sam. Um, so I may have got more than dog presents. Whoops. Um, <laughs> I can't, I don't know what's wrong with this brain. It just sees things and buys them. There's a reason why I'm inside, outside, avoiding the kitchen. I'll show you the dog things first. So I got him 
crack biscuits, classic. These are his favourite treat. This is what we taught him how to go up and down the stairs at our old house with. Nothing else would do it. Chicken, cheese, hot dog, nothing. Only crack biscuits. And then I got him some of these chewy protein bars. He likes these. Would you like to explain to people why they call them that? I did, I said about the stairs. No. Oh, he goes mental. Yeah. Yeah, when he was a puppy, he used to go mental, yeah. And then because it's his birthday, I got him a little cupcake. He really doesn't, Sam was right, he really doesn't need any more toys. And I got him some toys not that long ago. So he doesn't need any more toys, so. <laughs> Sam was right. Hmm, watch it. Little crinkly cupcake. And then because I felt bad for Thor, because I bought Ted stuff, I bought Thor just a little chewy loofah. Um, just to munch on and then so that's what I got from oh I got Thor some hay but that's already in the garage and um, and that's not exciting because he needs that to live so <laughs> I got some stuff for the garden for the new little wildflowery bed patch thing first of all I got another little insect house we have one on one side of the garden but I thought I'd put one in the wild wild area and this was discounted because these are broken but I don't think the bees or the insects care that these are broken so I got one of these to have here because we've got one at the allotment but not one here and it'll be useful for scraping up the grass I think I got a couple more grow bags we grow so these are for at home because we've not got unlimited grow space at home and I do like a mini vegetable garden here so we've got a two grow beds but they're only shallow because they've got um, limestone underneath so anything that we grow that needs deeper like leeks carrots potatoes we grow in these bags so I picked up a couple more of those this B&M was B&M had a really good garden section I was really impressed with it got one of these I've seen these all over TikTok for doing your dusting and I just wanted to try it <laughs> that's not garden related um I got some of these ground solar lights because I thought these would be nice to put on uh, the path in between where the paving slabs are I'll obviously put these out and show you a clip of how they look at night but I thought they would be nice to have I'm running out of space to put things on this side I got some more landscape pegs because we used all the ones we had yesterday. Got some solar light batteries because the lights out the front of the house have stopped working and I hope it's the batteries so I can use those. I got some of these tool hooks. I thought Sam could use these to organise the garage a bit. Sam? You heard me. Because at the moment all of our tools, spades, you know, etc. are just in a pile. So we can hang them up then. And then this is my favourite thing I got. Little bunny. Little bunny solar light. Little bunny solar lights. Because I thought it was sweet. <laughs> no, it is sweet. No, I thought it was. It is sweet. And I thought I could put that in the new little, little bit. So this is my little bunny light and I love it. And I'm going to put it somewhere special. We're not really garden ornament people, but I thought that was nice. And then from home base, I got a few things to do the new wildlife a bit because otherwise it's just going to be mud and it's going to look rubbish. So... <laughs> Um, I got a few bits. I got this flower seed packet because these are all hardy annuals so they'll tolerate a little bit of frost and what you can do is just sow these outdoors from now, from March. So I can sow all of these straight onto the ground, see what comes up. I'm not too bothered about um, you know, it being super neat in that section so I thought they were nice and I thought they were nice colours together. I got that. I'll just sprinkle those about. And then. Hmm? No, they're for in that bit. New bit. Yeah, but you were the last time. 
They're not wildflowers. They're not wildflowers. They're proper flowers. Yeah, I don't know what to do about the front bit yet. And then they had a bargain bucket of seeds. Sam's giving me evils. Because I bought more seeds. But they were in a bargain bucket. What do you want me to do? Me and this other woman were like... Get a proper bargain bucket. Go to KFC. Through. Anyway. <laughs> I just got some seeds. I think these are because they're sober. Oh no, the sober is 2025. Oh. I thought it would because would be because they were out of date, but they're not. So what a bargain. Some Thai basil. I'll wait till Sam's finished washing his hands. Some Thai basil. I saw Jessie at Plot 37. If you watch allotment in vlogs, you might watch her. She had this and it looked great and she said it was nice. I got that. I've not seen it anywhere else as well. I got a couple of flowers. I might put these on the front. Um, Alyssum. Alyssum. Don't know. Just looked nice. Trailing on the... I think it like grows along the ground. I'm curious. That's literally Emma's way of buying things. It looked nice. How else do you buy things? And Sometimes some, you buy things on functionality. And some mixed cornflowers. I might put these two on the front actually. And um, we've got a tiny little patch. I'll show you at some point. A tiny little patch of ground on the front that's part of our like building plan. So it's our land. Um, so last year I grew wildflowers, just like one of them shake and rake wildflower things but it all went a bit mental and I had to pull them out because it was it was a bit crazy so maybe some more organized but nice wildflowers. Well, I don't mean the matter because the person behind doesn't live there anymore. No one lives in that house does it? And then I got melon seeds. These are normally dead expensive so I've never got them but they're in the bargain bin so I can grow a melon now maybe. Some dwarf runner beans, uh, some spinach, some mixed salad leaves, some of our favourite beetroot, the swirly whirly beetroot. We grew this last year. And some yellow long courgettes. Fun! And then some plug plants. Pak choy. I have tried to grow pak choy maybe six times. The slugs eat it every time. Every single time I've tried to do it, the slugs have eaten it. So I've got some plug plants. We don't use pesticides, by the way. No, and I don't, you know, the, the slugs, what can I do? What can I do? They always eat them before they're grown enough to, like, they always eat the seeds. So I've never even had a pak choy plant, and I love pak choy. And the rabbit loves pak choy, so not as much as Luna. It was Luna's second favourite pak choy, but Thor likes it as well. Purple sprouting broccoli. Um just in case mine doesn't come up because we both love sprouting broccoli and I want some. And then Brussels sprouts because the Brussels sprout seeds I've planted haven't come up. So got some plug plants. They had a really good selection at home base, the best selection I've seen so far of plug plants. And then I got two more clematis. Clematis. I don't know if that's how you say it, clematis. This one like pale pink and this nice pink and white one because I thought we've put basically our fence because it's a sh new build because <laughs> it's a rubbish new build <laughs> they cut corners on everything including the fence so our fence is called hit and miss fencing so there's a gap in between every fence panel about an inch but half of our fence is on the road it's not a busy like main road or anything but it's still on the road so people can see in so we've decided that we're just going to fill it with plants and so we got a couple of clematis because we, we well i said didn't I, that in the summer it's nice to in winter you're not bothered about privacy because you're never there in the garden you know you just but in summer it'd be nice to have a bit of a i've always i've always um well it's contradictory me saying this but i'm private person <laughs> even though we you like do this privacy in our home i know we vlog but like we like you we don't necessarily like all our neighbors so <laughs> even though you probably couldn't fit 900 900 of you i know how yeah. crazy um so yeah i've got a couple more of them because 
They're beautiful and I haven't really seen these plants before we got the other ones and now I'm obsessed with them. And they're climbers and they flower and they last perennial and they'll just get bigger and better. So hopefully once these establish, obviously they need to establish, um, they'll give us some cover on the fences. And then for the wildflowery area bit, I got these. I have no idea what these are, but they looked really nice. And they're perennials, I think. Yeah, a clump forming perennial. So they look a bit like poppies. Pa -pa -pa. I don't know, but they looked really nice. And I thought they'd be nice for like low plants, ground plants. And then the final thing I got, these were like on a five for whatever offer. These little perennial plants. Saponaria. I've got two of these again, perennials, ground plants. Um, We're gonna have to set up a bloody go for me for you soon. Sexy. Well, for us, just a survival Sexy Fraga, sexy. Don't know, I've not heard of any of these before, but again, sexy perennial. Favorites. Uh, another one of those. I, th I think these are good for like ground cover. And then one of these, that's a slightly taller one. I think we've got some of these at the allotment actually, around the pond, but hopefully they'll establish a grow. And then I just got some more seed gravel trays um, for some of my plants that I'm growing. And that's everything fun I got. I went to Aldi as well, but I didn't get anything fun in there. We're having a uh, toad in the hole and mash for dinner, if that's okay. For tea. Yeah, for tea, sorry. Um, yeah, and we can use our new kitchen gadget for mash. We bought a ricer, so we can have super smooth creamy mash. And, um, Delicioso. That's everything I've got to show you. So, I'm going to have some lunch because I'm absolutely Hank Marvin. Sam's already on lunch. Tuna sandwich? Nice. Um, my tummy's actually mumbling. Wow. <laughs> I know, it never does that. Um, and then I will probably get back out in the garden. Try and do a bit more today before the light fades. That's the end of the haul section of this video. Right, had some lunch. Refreshed. Had a Diet Coke. <laughs> Gonna get back out in the garden. Um, <laughs> I think I'm going to try and focus on getting the grass out of the new borders and new bits. And also we need to move that pile of dirt. I have ordered rubble bags on Amazon, but they're not here yet. And also I think I might do the algae cleaner because it needs three days of not raining. And the weather forecast says it's not gonna rain for the next three days. So, and also while the dog isn't here. Dogs so, plural. dogs plural, yeah, Bella's coming tonight. Um, today, tonight, I don't know when she's coming. She'll turn up at some point today with Ted, I assume. So. <laughs> Um, yeah, back out in the garden. Day two. I'm feeling happier. I'm feeling... Sun's out. Sun's out. That's why. That's why. Maybe that's why we hated each other yesterday, because it was rainy. Sunny today. So, if we just ignore some of the chaos and the washing, you can see I have extended the border this way. It's nice and neat. Sam, when he cuts the grass, it's too wet to cut the grass, but when he does cut the grass, he's going to do it nicely with the strim and everything. So that'll be nice and neat, no more monkey wooden border. However, we have found pretty much every gardener's worst nightmare is we think we've got leather jack grubs. Leather jacks. Leather jacks are a kind of disgusting grub, but what they do is they eat the roots of your grass and they're a nightmare to get rid of. So I'm kind of nervous that that's what we've got. Um, but there's nothing we can do about it. We've just got to get nematodes, the internet said, and get rid of them that way. That's all, all we can do. Thankfully, I don't think they've like attacked our garden fully. I think we've probably caught them before they had a chance, but yeah, annoying. So that is five rubble bags worth of dirt. I can't fit any more in because they're already too heavy. And there's all that left. And the garden is a mud pit. Dogs are gonna go after and not go outside. <laughs> it's too muddy. Oh, I've run out of rubble bags as well. 
Clearly five was not enough. Right vlog, my hair is being held up with a kitchen uh, food clip. This is life now. You're a bit defeated, aren't you? I am so tired and exhausted and really sick of seeing mud. I'm really sick of seeing heavy clay soil mud. That's what I'm really, really sick of. I'm feeling how you felt yesterday, probably. Yeah. I hate new builds. And the worst thing is, is we went to my mum's house the other day and their soil, beautiful. Like sand. Beautiful, free draining, crumbly soil. Here, building site, basically. The amount of bricks. It'll take years for this to. Leather, spoons, we found here. Not to mention leather. Yeah, I said leather. No, the, the, the grubs. Oh, yeah, I've said about the leather jack grubs, whatever they're called. We're just gonna blast them with nematodes. 20 quid. <sighs> but we don't want it to get worse and them to actually kill the grass because they will decimate it and we spent a long time growing this grass but for like, you to stand there when you did you yeah. guys never saw that obviously. when we first moved into this house okay me and sam decided we wanted to put grass seed down okay so we had a bit of an argument with the builders eventually the builders came and dropped off some topsoil because they just left it as you yeah. probably got a photo or something somewhere. Anyway, yeah, I'll infer a photo of what the garden looked like when we first moved in. So then we got the topsoil. We levelled off the topsoil. And then we put the grass seed down. But it was summer, so it had to be watered. So we put a sprinkler on. And because I work from home, it was my job to do the lunchtime sprinkle. Leave it on for ten minutes, turn it off. Except ADHD brain. Forgot to turn it off for like four hours. Would you still need to get checked out? <laughs> Yeah, I forgot to turn the sprinkler off for about four hours, which created a complete mud bath in the middle of the... Mm. Uh, and then what did you try and do to go rectify it? Instead of turning the water off at the mains, I tried to go Run to the, the soil. Yeah, to the sprinkler to remove the sprinkler. I clearly wasn't thinking. So then we had, like, one patch of the grass is like, woo, not level at all. Anyway, that's the story of how I ruined our grass. Anyway, the levelness. <laughs> let me show you what I've done. So, even though I didn't have enough dumpy bags, rubble bags, I was clever and remembered that we've got a million limestone bags from yesterday. So, <laughs> filled those up, got rid of the soil. Well, we still need to try and organise taking it to the tip. <laughs> I don't know. Well, in other news, I've uh, put the lawn edge in here, I've dug out and put the lawn edge in which makes this look like a million times better and we will get in. We've been really annoyed with the grass coming over and the limestone also going onto the grass. So this has been needing to be done for a while. So I'll just use some of the leftover lawn edging from there. I made a nice neat path. And then we'll just use some of the limestone that's coming for there to cover this edge up. Um, which we need to redo this path anyway. Though. Yeah, we need See to. See what we do need to do and you can do that because I know you'll enjoy it. We need to clean these slabs. I need to algae remove everything, mm -hmm. which I do want to do, seeing as the dogs aren't going to be going on the back anyway, because it's too muddy. Do the algae remover as well, because that's a quick, quickish job. But yeah, just need to organise moving the soil to the tip. Clean the slabs. It's going to be a nightmare. It's the same that we can't get someone to come pick it up. Put it on Facebook. I don't know. Clay soil. Yeah. Some people get random things on Facebook. But anyway, oh, and this bit, the wildlifey bit, I've decided that I'm not digging anymore because I'm not. <laughs> I'm just not. I'm going to put cardboard down and compost on top. There we go. I'm going to no dig that flower patch. Um, but yeah, we just need to move those first before I can do that. This looks weird. <laughs> but you can see where the new area is going to be at least. I'm just going to put some compost on it now. There we go. We watered the cardboard so uh, I can plant, I should be able to plant straight into it but obviously we need a couple more bags of compost. Um, this is just what we had like in the house so a couple more bags of compost there. Um, yeah I feel better now. I feel less like we've destroyed the garden. <laughs> slightly better but let me take the food clip out of my hair yes I feel better 
limestone's coming on Tuesday, Tuesday afternoon, so I can, we can finish that on Tuesday. We're going to take the bags to the tip, unless someone magically wants to take them off our hands for free, um, and then I'll start planting. I'll also start planting in here, so that might be in next week's vlog. We need to go and pick up two dogs now and celebrate his birthday. At least he's got his friend with him because uh, my mum's going away um, this week so we've got Bella as well so Ted's at least got his friend um, for his birthday. Yeah we'll go, and, we'll go and sort our lives out once again. I am a mess. Um, yeah we'll sort our lives out and we'll, we'll return. Got dogs! Ted? Ted? See? Dogs. Multiple. Two, to be exact. We're cooking dinner. Mash is on the go. Sausages have been pre done -ed. Oven is warming. Sam is going to do his chilli kit. I'm sowing the seeds of love. I'll leave you with him. No pressure. No pressure. I'm doing the orchard mm. puddings. Talk about pressure. Well, I basically just have to put this in, the core, mm. uh, and then leave it to soak for, um, leave it to soak for an hour first, oh, okay. and, and then add some soil in each. So basically, I'll have a core. Is that core? 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 Don't go core. I don't know. I think people are on the internet because I. Nargi chillers. They said. Uh, Mm -hmm. uh, and then some Out. cayenne and jalapenos for habaneros even. So we're going hot, hot and hot. Yeah, and these are going to work better than any, than anything I did properly because that's just what Sam does. Well, Sam's doing that, I'll tell you the story of my chilies. It was harketh back to the year begone before. So, grew some chilies. Did them on the heat mat. They germinated. Wonderful. They grew some leaves. Wonderful. I transplanted them. I did it on my allotment vlog. You saw me. You were there with me. And if you weren't, where were you? I transplanted them into nice colourful pots with lovely soil. And then I put them on the windowsill upstairs. Lovely sunny windowsill with grow lights. They should have been having the time of their lives. Did they? No. One entire tray died completely. Completely died. Not one survived. Oh, um, okay, oh, okay. Oh, Sam's making an absolute mess here. Anyway, so one tray completely died. Completely died. Um, and then my other tray upstairs, they've all started dying as well. And slowly, slowly. I know, I'm going to. I'll just have you rest it. And Sam very cleverly deduced that um, it was because in our new built house we have like vents above the windows that are open for ventilation um, to stop you getting damp and stuff, which is fine, great. However, they were open, or I thought they were short, but they were a little bit open above. Um, the windowsill where the chilies were and I think a draft came down made them too cold and killed them. Incy wincy spider. That's our current hypothesis. The vents are now shut. Um, one tray survived. One tray survived and is doing marvellous. I'm not sure of the science um, but I think that's what's ha what happened. So the chilies, I've got some others germinating, well trying to germinate again and Sam's obviously doing this. So our chilli saga continues. Um, yeah. It's been a bit of a nightmare, I would say. One would call it a kerfuffle. Yes, it's been a large kerfuffle. But, you know, we try again. We go again. Sam's going to do his chilies here, look. We'll keep them on the windowsill. And, uh, yeah. One man, three chilies, doesn't know what he's doing. On the plus side, my tomatoes are coming up. We have tomatoes, show the world. I find it weird that this just grows, it's weird. It's because it's dried, it just needs rehydrating. 
tomatoes. Tomatoes. Yes, I did. These are all tomatoes. It's a lot of varieties. Couldn't I couldn't decide. I just did them all. And then these are the chilies and aubergines that are trying to go again. <sighs> tomatoes. I think we've pretty much got one of every type, apart from these purple ones and the big ones and another one. But otherwise we've got one of every type because I sowed three of each. And I did it properly, I just did one seed per cell apart from that one where I obviously accidentally did two. But I have generally just done one seed per cell like you're supposed to. Not carpet bum it with seeds. Apparently you're not meant to do that. Um, but yeah, not dribbled. that's the tomatoes. You're having a good time there, are you Sam? Well I blame them for giving us pots that game. Yeah, they should have given you sauces as well, you mm. see, shouldn't they? Do you know what? I don't know why I'm fanning about it, because we've probably got about 16 sauces in the garage. Yes, but that means you'd have to go in the garage. Easy. In other news, someone's a little birthday boy. You don't know what day it is, so it doesn't matter. He's already had some chimkin, and Nanny said you got lots of lovies, and you've been with best friend Bella. So you've had a good day. So this, I've been taking it nice, naughty boy. Take it nice, good oh boy. That's for you, Ted. Don't let Bella steal it. It's not her birthday. That's just reminded me. Oh, I'll let him wash first. Just, there's mud in this. There's mud everywhere. A whole house is mud. A whole garden is mud. We're huffing, we're puffing. The we are the mud outside. house. <laughs> um, yeah, because we're on the road to nine uh, nine thousand i wish yeah. we we're on the road to nine thousand because we're on the road to a thousand subscribers we hit 900 this weekend we did you're all amazing love you love you thank you um we need to do something for a thousand subscribers so we're gonna throw the suggestions to you to you lovely people i'll mention it on the allotment blog as well so that people who don't watch both can, in the yes can um contribute but what are your suggestions for a special 1000 subscriber episode sam's suggestion which i'm not a fan of is to eat a naga chili which is a million scoville units um i thought a radish was spicy spicy dinner. so i don't know if uh, we're gonna do that and then that would also require us to grow a naga chili successfully we might be at 2000 by then <laughs> so but we'll throw the comments open comment what we should do for a thousand subscriber video i think we should have some sort of bake-off because i'd do well at that no it's going to be something silly something silly that we can do to celebrate um yes and we'll open it up to the forum to you lovely people um we can ones with most liked comments will deduct down okay are you doing it as a competition voting system i was just going to pick the one it was oh, not scary because someone might comment like jump off a building and then everyone likes it and then we've got to do it oh, where is that? <laughs> someone's coming in there'll be some mediation someone is, <laughs> someone's going to comment jump off a building well we're not and, uh, we're not I, doing I, that so <laughs> i know who's going to do that now <laughs> you know who's going to do that now so yes comment what we should do for a thousand subscriber Emma's not on the tiptoes by the way special i'm sure <laughs> Pudding. <gasps> I've done it again. This is the second time I've successfully successfully done a Yorkshire pudding, and that is because both of Sam's <coughs> nanas. Oh, Alexa's gonna go. Alexa, stop. Both of Sam's nanas, both Yorkshire women, have given me all of shout their hints and tips. Shout out to us Sheffield folk. Shout out to Nan and Mags and uh, Mary. You're the real ones have taught me how to make a good Yorkshire pudding, so now I'm allowed to stay. And Sam, Sam's the mash man. Sam does the mash in our house. I come from Banjo Lane. We've got the potatoes and we've got a new, new machine, look. Look at us. It was on offer in Dunelm. We've got a ricer. So we can have super smooth, in theory, mashed potato. Are we ready? Oh, that is making me feel uncomfortable. 
I didn't like that at all, but it's going to make nice mashed potato, so I'll allow it. Film the Yorkshire pudding. Whoa, spicy. I'm just a Yorkshire pudding genius now. Really? I'm just a Yorkshire pudding god. That's what a bit saying. much. Well, evidence. Evidence of Yorkshire pudding godness. What can I say, you know? Just, well, evidence first, doesn't lie. So categorically, it'd be a goddess. Mm. Potato writers work. What a great dinner. You're not getting any. You're not getting any. <laughs> Sunday dinner. Not complete without. Endos. Proper stuff. Even I've been converted. We've got. Uh, I bought some a bulk box from Costco. So we've got about four to get through, which we will do eventually. Do your lingo stops for nobody? It does not. Well, you've done, Sam, you've got your year streak, haven't you? It's coming out, yeah. I just got my 300 day streak. I'm behind Sam because I don't do it every day. How's your birthday been, Ted? How have you found it? Everything you hoped and dreamed? You're grown up now. You're 21. You could drink in America. How do you feel about that? How do you feel about that? Don't care. Don't care. Enjoyed my Cheetos and chicken. Thank you. He also destroyed his cupcake toy within five minutes. Might have been less than five minutes. <laughs> no, he wants attention, does he? Because that's he wants what... wants attention. So that was a good good use of my money, that cupcake toy. I'm really glad I bought that. Anyway, while Sam does his Duolingo, I'll sign off. It is the evening. It is bedtime. The guard, I feel okay about the garden. I feel kind of... I don't know. I think I'm okay about it. I did feel very stressed earlier when I could just see mud and no end in sight. But now I feel okay. Um, limestone's coming on Tuesday. Can finish it then. Uh, what else? Gonna plant my plants. But I'll, I'll, if I do plant anything, I'll film it and then I'll put it in next week's vlog as a little extra. If I do it in the week and not the weekend, which I probably will because it's me and I'm impatient. So <laughs> I'll film it and I'll put it in next week's vlog. If I do anything to the garden but otherwise that is it that is all anything to add sir this is quite a twist on my neck so if you could be quick me yeah uh no not really um just uh i think with the garden we know where we're at um it's been a nice chill weekend for a change really mm. no allotment Again? No, but you are going up on... I'm going to try and take a day off work this week and go up because, number one, I feel like I would really like a day off work this week. <laughs> oh, hello, Ted. Yes, I know, it's your, I know it's your channel. I know. I know. We've missed you. Um. Yeah, I'm going to try and take a day off work. Go up to the allotment, finish the garden. All the things. But thank you for watching again. Thank you to all 910 as of right now. Wow. Look at you go. Look at you go. So, yeah, thank you. Of course, don't forget to let us know what you want us to do for a thousand subscriber video. Um, this is the 50 tooth vlog, by the way. 50 tooth? The 50 tooth vlog. The 50 second. You so a year of vlogs. I know it's the 52nd. I just said 52 because it sounded funny. So it's this 52nd vlog. So thank you for a year of vlogs. The timeline doesn't add up because we've missed things and missed days and stuff. But this is the 52nd vlog. That's weird. Vlog. I know. It's crazy, isn't it? And it's, it's kind of ironic because... No, don't move oh, sorry. Um... Because our first vlog was doing the garden. That was why we started vlogging. Because we thought we were going to 
renovate our garden and then that kind of fell apart. But we are actually renovating the garden now. A year later, we're renovating the garden. <laughs> but yeah, in that year we've become gardeners. We didn't know what we were doing last year. Absolutely not Scooby-Doo. And now we sort of half know what we're doing, but still not really. So thank you for watching 52 vlogs. If you've been here since day one, let us know. The uh, OGs. Don't go back and watch the vlogs because they're really embarrassing. I did it the other day and I wanted to crawl into a hole and die. <laughs> just didn't know how to, I don't know, just really like, didn't know how to talk to people. But now, I think it's because there wasn't anyone to talk to, number one. Now we had like uh... 20 subscribers. But now there's 900 of you, so I feel like I can talk to you. So we go See? Gaggle. So. Dead. No, little boy. Say thank you for everyone watching and subscribing. Don't watch up to asleep. Bella's over there. She's ready for bed. Thank you for everyone subscribing to my channel. Thank you for making me famous on the internet. Thank you. Can you see Nanite? Nanite all. We'll see you on the flip-flop next week. Bye. Ta-ra. Say bye. Boop.